Welcome back to Izzo Math. In this video, we are still working with MATLAB and we are going to start writing MATLAB script. That is writing code for MATLAB to do some work for us. So let's look at the let's look at a quadratic. Y equals x squared minus 2x minus 5. Okay, that's a quadratic we have, and don't worry, I just want it there so we could see it. And we want to solve that thing and find the zeros for it. So we need to use the quadratic formula. So a negative, negative b is going to be 4 minus the square root, oops, 2 minus square root, SQRT of b squared. So 4 minus 4 times 1 times negative 5. All right, and close the square root, close the parentheses on top, divided by 2a, so it's just going to be divided by 2. Hit enter. And so there's one of our roots, and you could hit the up arrow, and it would bring it back up here, and you could change it to plus. Hit enter, and that would give you your second root. And that's not so bad, but that's a little bit of work, and you have to do that every time for every quadratic. So what I would like to do is write a code that... I can run a quite easily run any quadratic I want with minimal work. So we go over here, click on this button that says new script. Click on that, and the first thing we want to do is hit a parentheses that lets you put in te uh, text that's not going to be used in the file. And I would just say this is the code for the quadratic formula anything that lets you know what you were doing okay and so the first thing I want to do is when we run this program we're gonna call it quadratic or something when we run it we want it to display what it actually is so you just hit DISP there that's display and it needs to be a string and so you'd hit a apostrophe there and the quadratic formula AX squared plus BX plus C equals zero. Okay? Display, that's what it's going to display. Then we want to ask what our A, B, and C is. So we'd say A equals, and then we're going to tell it to input. And when we input, we want it to say A equals. And we want to put a semicolon there because we don't want it to show that output. We just want it to store it for what it's going to do with it. Okay, so B equals input, B equals semicolon C equals input, C equals semicolon, and then we would want to get what the roots are. X1 equals a negative B plus square root b squared minus 4 times a oops times a times c all divided by 2 times a all right, I'm going to say x2 equals and I can probably copy all that and let's change that to a minus and I think that's going to run it for us so the first thing we want to do is save it file save as and let's save it in our gas prices and let's call it quad and now if you notice over here in our current folder we have quad.m so let's run it and see what happens here's the green button run quadratic formula ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero so let's say a equals three or two enter b equals so it did it's just asking me this uh, three enter c is negative four and it gives me my roots there of point eight negative two point three and so let's do one that we know the answer to let's see what is uh x minus 1 times x plus 2 so it's going to be x squared plus 2x plus x minus 2 so let's do this let me hit CLC that clears the window see how much time we got 
Oh, we're just at five minutes. We have plenty of time. So we're looking at the quadratic x squared plus x minus 2. And so if we want to run this, we just type the name over here, quad. It's going to run our program for us. So it tells me this is the quadratic formula, and it tells me to enter my A. My A value is 1, enter. My B value is 1, enter. My C value is negative 2. Now when I hit enter, this thing better spit out a positive 1 and a negative 2. Okay, so we're good. It's given me my answers. So what if we did, well, what's it going to do when we don't have real roots? So what would that be? x squared plus x plus 1. That's not going to have real roots, is it? Uh, so a equals 1, b equals 1, c equals 1. And you see here that it gives me my imaginary roots. So we've written a program now for the quadratic formula. Again, let's look at that program. If you just click on, double click on there, it will show you. So let's go over it real quick. So the percent allows me to type in text that's not going to be run in the code. So you can type in anything you want. It's, it's good to type in. This is a pretty simple one, but if, if it was more complicated, you would want to say what you were doing on certain lines with regular text. And you would do that by uh, kind of, I guess you'd say, percenting it out putting in the percent sign then you can type whatever you want it's not running the code so we hit display that's just going to get show we can type in anything we want there and it's going to show it but then we want to know we're doing the quadratic formula so we want to know what our a b and c is so we say a then we equal and we put input that tells us matlab that the user is going to input something there okay and so put the inputs for a b and c and then once we get our a, b, and c, we just use the quadratic formula to find our two roots. And it's as simple as that. Maybe in the, I was thinking about doing a Pythagorean theorem. Let's do that in the next video. We will run a code for the Pythagorean theorem that will allow us to easily solve for any right triangle for the legs or the hypotenuse. Alright, see you in the next video.